hello good day and welcome to this tutorial today i'm going to walk you through everything you need to know or what you need to know about the app pixel app all right so as you can see on the screen it's just right here so i'll be clicking on it now all right and there you go this is the first thing you, you get to meet or you get to see after you click on the app I don't need this I'm gonna delete it all right so for to change the background the background is black I want a white background I can decide to import or I can also I can decide to import a shape um, a shape like this and then I start then I change it to white yeah but I'm not doing this I'm going to delete it so one way I, I, I do my background so go to the fourth icon the fourth icon here one two three four one two three four so it's the fourth icon i use for you can you use for the changing of your background Anything that has to do with background if you want to put you want to get an image from your gallery you click on from gallery but the fact is that you cannot move it once you use it you cannot move it all right but for the other one, as you can see that I could move, I could move it, like I could remove it. Okay, so I'm going to click on color, color, then choose white, white. All right. Okay, now I want to write a test to show you a few features of this app. All right. So I'll click on this plus icon at the top here, then click on text, then drag and drag it anywhere you want it. Let's drag it. Then let me edit it. Click on this A icon and click on edit. The introduction. I want to pick the lab. So let me change the color to be more a dark black color. Alright, so that's it. Every of my editing on my text is done on this place. I can't move to the fourth icon. I'll do it everything on the second icon here. So, so let me change the fonts. So to change the fonts, I do this fonts. So the fonts, let's say I want to use. Let's say I want to use this. The introduction to Pixel Lab. All right. So let me make the alignments okay at the middle part. I click on align, 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 yeah. And then let me make it to be at the exact middle center of this canvas. Your workspace is called canvas. I don't know if I said that before. This place where you are working, where you are making your design is called canvas, or I also call it workspace. So relative position to put it at the exact middle where you want it to be all right so maybe let me increase it a little so the first um, features i'll be showing you in this text effect is the stroke 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 so for the stroke you are you are outline your your words your text you by using stroke so once you click on stroke you enable the stroke here is black the default stroke here is black so i want to make it let's say yellow all right so let me increase it i'm increasing the stroke now Introduction to Pixel Lab. Okay, let me increase the stroke more a little. Okay, introduction to Pixel Lab. All right. Okay, so as you can see, better now. Okay, so this is I've just stroked this text. So another feature I want to be I want to impose it to make it look plastic to make it look like a plastic. So I want to impose, impose, 
you, I mean, any of these things are in this app. Alright, just emboss. Click on enable. Alright, my emboss is having an issue. I'm also going to work with it. Alright, so this is it. This is the emboss. Look at it. Look at how your design is already looking like. Like plastic. So as you can see. This is the work of embo. I know you might have seen something like this in any design before. This is the work of embo. Another feature I'll be showing, letting you know is the perspective. You enable and then you move. That's the for the perspective option, and then I'll be showing you. Okay, also let's try the reflection. You can increase your the reflection, but not yet. Let's, let's do the 3D. 3D, yeah. 3D plus and plus is always very very great. Well, it's always look very great. So this work of TDD, I've seen this before. Can also make, can also put shadow to your work. Yeah, can make it red, can make it any color. I'm going to be joining different ones to it. Okay, so you can also copy your text, copy everything you have done. You can copy it out. I decided to move this to the back. And to front. If there was something else, let me say, let me copy it out, for example. And here, yeah, this one is here. I want to bring this this one at the, at the down part here. I want to bring it to the front. Just click on to front. See, it's at the front now. Alright. That's just that about that. Right. So let me go for the reflection. This is the last icon in this text editing reflection. Shadow, if you need, there's need for it. You want the shadow? So that's just that. I want to make it go. Because I use emboss, that's why it's like this. So the emboss I used to make your work go this way. You can see the lines.
Okay, so that's that about that. Me, I did it. Let me show you how to do something. All right, click on the plus icon again. Let me say, My name is I bless you. My name, I am I bless you. a coach. Change the color. Change the color to black. We now change the font. Right. Wait. Put this at the middle part. Position. I don't know I'm looking for it. Okay, so I want to put, I want to make eye blessing probably. I want to just give it different colors. I want to make it different colors without writing them um, separately. Like you write I am separately, eye blessing separately, the coach separately. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, so what I do is when you when you when you, when you click on the text you want to work on like this. Go for color. Then, when you get to color, you go to you, you go and choose what you want to work with. Red, right. Okay, you can see. You can write many other things for it with, with, with this. Maybe the, most people don't know how to do as simple as this piece. So you can, you can make something like this also. There's much more detail. And it's explaining something. Alright, so that's that will be the that will be all for today. Well, let's say fifty percent of what is the lab is all about and the app usage, the app usage and the feature. The text effects is where the major work is and we have done it. Alright, so that's all about this. See you in class.